Right. So, I'm back with another FIFA rebuild, and this is a team that I've actually really liked, and I mean, they have a Mexican on the squad, so I'm quite happy to be doing this, and if you can already tell, I'm wearing orange because this team predominantly wears orange. I know it's not the same type of orange, but we're rebuilding Wolves or Wolverhampton, and I think this will be a very interesting one because they've they have a pretty decent squad and they've done pretty well in the past few seasons apart from the last season they finished in 10th i believe um but i mean let's try to push on and get them to champions league glory like we have with many other teams so let's go and here we are as the new wolves manager i know it's more yellow than orange or red or whatever but i mean i just it's orange enough but anyways we are the new wolves manager i think we could do a pretty good job and this is our very first season. I'm hoping to do it within five seasons. I think we can do it within five seasons. But yeah, let's just take a look at the squad. Okay, it's a five at the back formation. I'm never a big fan of those, but it's okay. We have Raul Jimenez, the Mexican, of course. And we have, of course, the main captain, Connor Cody. You know what? We can do this. We could definitely do a pretty good job here. And yeah, I'm excited to start this new rebuild with Wolverhampton or Wolves. Let's do it. And let's, I'll see you at the end of the transfer window where we will have done some transfers. So it is transfer deadline day now and mm, it wasn't the greatest of transfer windows if I'm being fully honest, but let's take a look at exactly what we did in this transfer window for Wolves. We made Trincao and Huang Hee Chan permanent deals for Wolves. We brought in Evan and Dicka. We brought in uh, Fabio Carvalho and Braganza while well, we sold Quite a few defensive options. Now these were the top deals, Moussa Diabe, Moreno, and Theo Hernandez. But this is what we did. We sold Roman Sice to bring in Evan Dick. We sold Johnny. We brought in Trincao. We brought in Braganza. We brought in Juan Chan. We sold Marsal. We brought in, it is Fabio Carvalho. I know in real life he went to uh, Liverpool, but we just brought him in. Uh, we loaned out Mosquera. That's practically what we did. It isn't the greatest. But I just wanted to get a pretty decent team like we have so far. And we I just wanted to have a lot of more a lot more depth in the midfield because that's what we were really lacking, which is what Carvelio and Braganza actually provide for us. So yeah, and now I think I'm quite comfortable with this. I mean the board wants us to finish in the Europa League spot. I don't think we'll be able to do it because we do need a bit of improvement and we do have a little bit of money left over. We'll see if we're able to buy anyone. I doubt it. Maybe in the January transfer window, but we will see. But anyways, I will see you at the end of the season where hopefully we'll do some pretty deep. Uh, we'll finish in a pretty decent spot in the Premier League. Maybe Conference League, but that's even that's kind of hoping for it. But we'll see. I will see you there. End of season number one now. We drew against Norwich and we drew against Liverpool, but we beat Chelsea. So maybe we did pretty well in this Premier League season. Let's just find out. Where do we finish? Fifth. That's exactly Europa League, right? Oh, we were only two points off of Chelsea, but Aston Villa were one point behind us. So definitely an interesting campaign this one round. Man City wins the Premier League, but we finished in fifth. Pretty sure that's Europa League. That's not bad whatsoever. Let's check out the FA Cup real quick. FA Cup goes to Arsenal. And where do we lose out to? We lost to Man City in the, what's that? Round of 16, Carabao Cup. Man City wins the Carabao Cup. I swear they always win it. Um, and Man City dumped us out again. Great. Okay, our Man City Liverpool. Europa League goes Wolfsburg and Sporting. Interestingly. And the Conference League, Tottenham versus Roma. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But anyways, let's check out exactly what we did and how our team did. Let's see how the team is doing though. Oh, okay, okay. Quite a bit of growth from the players that I was hoping from. Pedro Neto, 84 rated, fantastic. Jimenez grew by a little bit as well. Trincao, 81 rated. Um, Semedo grew a little bit. Evan Indica, 83 rated, that's fantastic. Cody grew by a little bit as well. Aidnori, definitely a fantastic left back for us. Most goals goes to Raul Jimenez with 23 goals and four assists. Meanwhile, our backup left winger, Huang Hee Chan, gets 19 goals and nine assists. Ruben Neves with 11 and 17. Daniel Podence with 10 and two. Trinka with six and one. Neto in six and four. Five and six, two. Two and three from Aidnori and one 
from Samantha, and also one from Cody. Interesting. But most assists goes to Ruben Neves, then Wangi Chan, then Donker, Raul Jimenez, Pedro Neto, Aidnori, uh, Kilman, Podence, Cody, Trincao, Carvalho, Boli, and that's it. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But, and the stats up against the, act, the other Premier League players, we have Jota winning the Golden Boots, but we have Raul Jimenez finishing in fifth with 19 goals by himself, with Huang Ming Chan finishing in 12th, and that's it for us, yep. And Ruben Neves gets the most uh, assists in the Premier League. Do we have anyone else? Does it look like it? Nope. And most clean sheets goes to David De Gea, and we don't have anyone in the top 15. What? Jose Sa finishes in 19 with three clean sheets. Ugh. Pretty poor season from Jose Sa, personally, but it's okay. You know what? We'll move on. Next season will definitely, hopefully be better, pushing for Champions League qualification, and maybe we can win the Europa League for next season. But I will see you guys in the next season. Season number two now with Wolverhampton Wanderers. Of course, the Wolves. We are back as the manager and we haven't done too much, but this is what the team is looking like now. But of course, it is the World Cup um, at this time. So we don't fully see everyone because they're on international duty. But still, we see a few, a little bit of growth uh, from some of our youngsters like Fabio Silva and Hoover. But hopefully we can bring in some new midfielders and possibly a new center back and a backup goalkeeper but we will find out if we're able to if not it's okay but let's see how much money we have that's for sure let's check it out 115 million you know what we could actually do some business here and we might let go of a few players hopefully i don't sell your best uh your favorite player but if i do i'm sorry but anyways let's just straight get into the transfers that we can do and i'll see you at the end of the transfer window it is transfer deadline day for season number two now and honestly i'm quite happy with this i'm i'm happy with what we've done so far because if we look at what we've done brought in kamavinga we brought in jesus we brought in costa and we brought in alvarez if we take a look at the deals of course here are the top deals alfonso davies to barcelona and the city to inter and drew bellingham was which is actually a player that i wanted to bring in couldn't afford him but he's off to everton but it's okay we brought in eduardo kamavinga Diogo costa Edson Alvarez, we sold Traore, we loaned out Ban, we loaned out Mosquera, we loaned out Carvalho, and we brought in a free agent as a backup CDM to our starting CDM, which is of course Edson Alvarez. I haven't used him in a while and I'm quite happy to have him now. And Luardo Camavinga, he already grew to an 81, already fantastic, and our backup goalkeeper, 79 rated Diogo Costa. And of course, Portuguese, we were kind of sticking to the um, Wolves team with uh, bringing in just Portuguese players, but we also brought in a Mexican because of course they have Jimenez and we brought in some French players like Camavinga and Indica, but still I think this is a fantastic team I would have loved to get another center back to partner alongside Indica But I still think Max Kilman and Indica can do a fantastic job And I think we have a fantastic team that could push on for potential Champions League qualification But we will see at the end of the season. So let's just simulate all the way to the end of the season we haven't started off too great, but it's okay. In the Europa League, we have Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, not entirely sure what that team is. And Young Boys. Okay, we'll, hopefully we'll win the Europa League. But yeah, let's just simulate all the way to the end of the season. So end of season number two now. We have the Europa League final up against Dortmund. Let's just simulate right past it. And we, we seem to have won quite a bit of games in this final month. But hopefully... We've made it to the Champions League by beating Dortmund. Did we beat them? There it is. We've won the Europa League. And hopefully we also made top four in the Premier League. Let's just check it out really quick. Did we do it? Yes, we did by one point over Manchester United. We finished in third. Oh, quite far off of Liverpool in second place. But Man City wins the Premier League yet again. Man United also finishes up the top four. Chelsea finished in fifth. But yeah, we did it quite comfortably i mean considering that chelsea is so far off but i mean we did it third place so FA cup let's see exactly how we did in this one liverpool win it we were knocked out in nope oh there we are there we are we got knocked out by Leeds in the replay round four replay carabao cup let's see how we did there tottenham hotspur wins it man city 
lost out in the final. Burnley make it to the to the semis, and we made it to the quarterfinals and lost out to Spurs. And Wolfsburg and Bayern Munich, Liverpool, us. Let's go. And, okay, Aston Villa. Aston Villa beats Villarreal. Interesting. And this is what the team is looking like now. Ooh. Okay. Quite a bit of growth. Uh, Pedro Neto Jimenez, I'm very happy. He started at what, 82 or 81? So Junior Dest, he's the new starting right back it seems. Let's go, I'm so happy with that. Um, but yeah, we we have a pretty good team now. I mean, we've already, we've been having a pretty good team. Okay, most goals goes to Raul Jimenez with 37 goals. Then Pedro Neto, Juan Hichan, Camavinga, Trincao, uh, Ruben Neves, Daniel Pulens, Cutron, or Cutrone, uh, Braganza, Ruben Tomato, Nelson Tomato, what am I saying? Nelson Tomato, and Carvalho got 2-2 two and two from Leicester City, not bad. That's an with 2-3, Connor Cody with 2, and most assists goes to Camavinga, Ruben Neves, um, Francisco Trincao, Raul Jimenez, Pedro Neto, and Deca got 5 assists! I have already got five, Podence with four, Eton Alvarez with three, Braganza with three, Carvalho with two, and Serginho Des with one as well. Let's go. We've got some great growth, some great uh, stats, and let's just check it out how it happened in the Premier League. Most goals goes to our very own Raul Jimenez gets the golden boot in the Premier League. Let's go. Anyone else? We have Neto in 25th. Not bad. Most assists goes to Salah of Liverpool, but we don't have someone until Ruben Neves in 8th, Jimenez in 10th, Camavinga in 15th, uh, Trincao in 19th, and that's it. Most clean sheets goes to Hugo Yuris, and we have Jose Sa in 5th place with 8. He was only one clean sheet off of 1st place, so not bad, but it is what it is. Most clean sheets in the Europa League goes to the Valencia goalkeeper, but we have Jose Sa, just one clean sheet behind him. And then most assists goes to Trincao and Frey and Martinelli as well. And we have Jimenez with 14 goals, the top goal scorer in the Europa League. Not bad. That is what the team did so far. I can't wait for season number three. We're going to be in the Champions League. I don't think we'll be able to win it, but maybe we'll push on far. We'll see. But I will see you in the next season. Season number three now with Wolves. And we actually didn't do much. We didn't buy any players because we have a maximum capacity. But luckily, there's a few players that are just leaving because of their contract ran out or they just left um, because we sold them previously. But we still have a full list of 52 so far right now. But again, oh, actually, no, they already left. I forgot that. Yeah, their contracts completely ran out. So yeah, we went from a 52 to a 46, but yeah, there's still quite a few players that I do want to get rid of um, and sell because I do want to invest in this squad. The, ma the main thing is getting that new center back, maybe a new CDM, um, but yeah, other than that, I think we're pretty solid. So yeah, I just want to see what we have, 159 million. Okay, it's either I get a a really good center back like Ruben Diaz or someone else, but we'll see. Anyways, I will see you at the end of the transfer window. Okay, so I'm back at the end of the transfer window for this third season and oh my, have we just made arguably the signing of this whole career mode. Let's just take a look at the squad. If you can already tell, we brought in the best Portuguese player in the world right now, Cristiano Ronaldo. Of course, I'm a Messi fan, but I mean, he was going for cheap. He's 38. He's 38 years old. Still 87 rated. It's still a little bit better than um, Jimenez. And we also brought in Ruben Diaz, the best Portuguese center back, arguably the best center back in the game right now. And yes, we spend all of our money to get those two players in. So hopefully, we can get uh, rid of a few other players because we do need a little bit of money. But that is what the team is looking like now. Let's just check out the top fields really quick. We see Goretzka course Ruben Diaz and Eder Militao as a top three. We brought in Ruben Diaz for 157 million, Cristiano Ronaldo for 62.5 million, we sold Potence, we sold Gomez, we sold Ronin, we loaned out Magallan, we loaned out Sarkic, we loaned out and we loaned out Morgan Gibbs White. Hopefully we can sell a few other players because we do need the money but this is what the team is looking like. I absolutely love it. We have Cristiano Ronaldo, we're going with that Portuguese 
um, just link up from everyone. We lost the Super Cup, we lost against Liverpool, but it's okay. In the Champions League, we're facing Roma, Ferencvaros, and Fernabache in our group, but hopefully we can make it out. Maybe we won't win the Champions League this season, but I'm hoping that we can get top four and maybe even win the Premier League. Well, who knows? We'll see. Okay, so it is the end of season number three. Well, not technically the end because we actually have a Champions League final to contend with and I think we've done so well. I really did not think we would make it to the final in this first season uh, of us being in the Champions League, but we've done it. We're facing Manchester City and yeah, I can't wait to see it. Let's see how we did in every other competition though. We're in the final for the Champions League, luckily. We won the Europa League, so that means we had the Super Cup. Hopefully we won it. Oh wait, no, we didn't, did we? Did we win it? No, we didn't. We lost to Wolfsburg, it's okay. But Carabao Cup, did we win that? That's one trophy. That's one. Can we make it two with the FA Cup? I think we did. That's two cups in one season. Have we won the Premier League for the treble? That's the domestic treble for Wolves and we can make it a quadruple by winning the Champions League. If we were able to win the Champions League, that means we'll be able to win everything in one season. Apart from the Super League, of course, we had the chance to win the Super League, but it's okay. You know what? Let's see how the team is looking. Ooh, okay, Ronaldo dropped off by two ratings. Uh, but he's still higher rated than Jimenez by one. Jimenez also dropped down. Um, Alvarez, 84, is not the greatest, but it's okay. Kamavinga, there's quite a few growth, and also you may notice that we have Nuno Mendes instead of Aitnori. The thing is, Aitnori had a release clause that was really cheap, so I believe Atletico Madrid bought him, and we were only able to get Mendes. He was an 84 rated, he grew by one, so it's not bad, but still, kind of stinks, kind of sucks, but it's okay, it's another Portuguese player, so yeah, you know what, let's just check out the stats, see how we did in this season. Most goals goes to Cristiano Ronaldo with 26, then it's Neto with 23, Jimenez with 21. He had more appearances than Ronaldo, surprisingly. Neves with 20, Trincao with 18, Camavinga with 14. Wow, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, six different players with over 10 goals. Not bad. And then someone else for Crystal Palace got nine goals and two assists. Five and two, two and five. Two and three, not bad. Most assists goes to Ruben Neves, then Ronaldo, Neto, Trincao, uh, Camavinga, Indica, Edson Alvarez, Serginho Dest, Mendes, Anibal, um, and all of these players. Oh, Carvalho also got 14 appearances, two assists, and he grew to an 80. Not bad. What about Martin Gibbs White? Also grew to an 80. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Now, compared to the rest of the teams, we have. I don't even know how to pronounce that player's name, but that player from Young Boys as the top goal scorer in the Premier League. We have Fatih in third, Lewandowski, also playing for Barca. Wow, they're predicting it. But anyways, we have Jimenez, our very own Jimenez, in sixth place with five goals, not bad. And we also have Neto in 19th place, and that's it. Most assists goes to Asensio, and we don't have anyone in the top 15 or in the top 25, great. Most clean sheets goes to Ederson, and we again do not have a single person up until Sa in 20th place. Not bad. Let's just check out the Premier League really quick. Premier League most clean sheets goes to Alisson with 16 clean sheets. Jose Sa gets 15, just one behind the Liverpool goalkeeper. But the most assists goes to Son, and then Ronaldo and Neves tie for second place with 11 apiece. Neto finishes in sixth, Trincao in tenth, Camavinga in eleventh. And that's it for our players. Most goals goes to our very own Ronaldo with 25 goals in 31 matches. Gabriel Jesus finishes in second, while our very own Neto finishes in the top five. And then we have Neves in 14th, and that's it. Nope, we have Camavinga in 23rd as well. Not bad whatsoever for the Wolves. So yeah, this should be the end of the season up until we actually have the game. So hopefully we can end off the rebuild right here by playing this game up against Man City and beating them. We will see, but I will see in the game. So Wolves versus Manchester City at the Estadio Metropolitano. Here we are. 
here we have a look at all the teams, or the, the both of the teams. We have Ederson, I see. Open oh, Meccano, it seems like. I mean, we do have Ruben Diaz for them. Wait, was that Muller? Do they have, do they have, Tom, they have Thomas Muller? And I believe that's their captain. Wow, okay. They have Rodri, they have Grealish, Bernardo Silva, Gabriel Jesus. Let's just get straight into the game. There's no point in looking at this whole team, but they have some interesting players. Wolves versus Manchester City. Of course, we're controlling Wolves. Let's go, Wolves. Come on. Francisco Trincao. Uh, what? Sterling. They have seven Portuguese players, and Man City have like three of them. Oh, what a challenge, Evan Indica. Ronaldo. Okay. It's fine. Oh. Neto. Ah. Oh, what a challenge from Ruben Diaz on his former teammate. Let's go. Oh, my. Francisco Trincao. Never mind. Ronaldo. Oh. Open Meccano. So annoying, man. 22. Oh. Nice. That's yours. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, ho, ho. That was nice. Nice. Let's go, Trincao. Let's go, Trincao. Let's go, Trincao. Cross it in for Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo, you got to do better than that, my friend. Oh, Edson Alvarez. Great interception, my friend. Great interception. Neto for Ronaldo. Ronaldo back to Neto. Oh, what a ball. But who's in the middle, though? Keep it in. There you go. Neto all the way. Psych. Oh, that was bad. But it's on. It's through. It's on. Ronaldo. Oh, no. That wasn't Ronaldo. That was Neto. Oops. So, Junior Dest. Nope. Oh, and Sterling is through. Nope. I don't know why he passed it back to the middle. He's got to be outside, though. What? Oh, what a save. Oh, what a save. Oh, what a shot by Thomas Muller. Oh, great save. Great save, my friend. Wide open space. Jose Saw just flies to it and saves it with his left arm. It's yours, Nuno Mendez. Never mind. Jose Saw, it's yours. Okay, Des, let him move. Okay. Okay, that was meant for you, but it's fine. Kamavinga. I don't see any open space. There we go. We see Edson. We see Ronaldo. Ruben. Ronaldo. Trincao. Please be on the side. Seems like you are. Neves! Neves! Ruben Neves! Let's go! The captain of Wolverhampton Wanderers, of course. I doubt he's gonna stay here up up until they make it to the Champions League, but still, Ruben Neves, fantastic job. Trincao, Ronaldo, this whole link of play was exquisite. I love it. Ruben Neves, rumored to many top clubs, but if he stays at Wolverhampton, I think he could definitely become the captain and take them to this Champions League final and even score in this Champions League final like we've done so right here, right now with him. Let's go, Ruben. Let's go, Neves. Let's go. Four goals in 13 matches. Not bad. It's 1-0 to the Wolverhampton Wanderers up against Man City. Let's go, Wolves. Let's go. Ruben Neves off for Ronaldo. Ronaldo's not through, but Neto is to the middle. Neves for Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Oh, he nearly made it through. They have Gabriel Jesus on the run. Oh, and he has sent me. Oh, he sent me to the shops. Dest. Oh, what a block. Kamavinga, just get it out. Nice. Trincao to the middle, but no one's there. What am I doing? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Oh, Ruben Diaz. Oh, Dest. Just get it out. Let's go. Let's go. Second half now. Wolves versus Man City. We are winning 1-0, but it is intense. It Bernardo Silva is a scary character. Oh, okay. That was a surprise shot, but it wasn't a good one. So easy for Jose Sa. Ruben Neves. I see Ronaldo. That was not the pass to Ronaldo, but it's fine. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here anymore, but it's fine. I see Ronaldo going in. Let's go. 
Ronaldo, let's go. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, let's go. What is he doing? Oh, oh, he's doing that celebration. Okay, okay. You know what? We had him in the Manchester United rebuild. He unfortunately got injured or he, he wasn't able to play the final. We had Harry Kane, but now we have Ronaldo in this Wolverhampton Wanderers side and he scored. That wasn't the greatest of headers, but it's okay. We've now secured a two goal lead and yeah. Okay, hopefully we don't lose this. It's 2-0 up for us. Also, we have seven Portuguese players. Ideally, they want like eight Portuguese players, but I didn't want to go full Portuguese because that's not Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wander Wolves are more than just Portugal. But anyways, let's go 2-0 for Wolves. Oh, no. Mendes? No. Ruben? Neves? Ronaldo? And Trincao? Trincao? Open space, takes the shot, and it goes in! And it goes in! I thought Cancelo was gonna block the shot or something, but he doesn't! And it's Trincao winning, or oh, winning, scoring for us! Woo! That's three Portuguese players. I mean, there's seven of them, so like, it's very likely that they would play, <laughs> that they would score, but how did that even go in? Did that? Wait, do not tell me that nutmegged. Okay. So Cancelo wasn't able to reach <laughs> it. No, Meg Ederson. Oh, he kept it low to the ground and Trincao has scored. Let's go. He's a Barcelona player. He played for one season there, but he's loaned out to Wolves and he stayed at Wolves in this career mode and he has now scored in the Champions League final for us. Oh, Camavinga steals the ball. Off to Ronaldo, but no. Okay. Oh, Nuno Mendes bullying. Gabby Jesus off there. Oh, never mind. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, what a block. Okay. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. Neves. Ronaldo. Oh, I was about to cut back. I see you. Oh, my. Let's go. Edson Alvarez. He's had a pretty good game so far. Nuno Mendes. Okay, never mind. Gets the playing time. Nuno Mendes. Nuno Mendes. Nuno Mendes. Who's in the middle? No one. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. That was, it's not bad. It's not bad for Gabriel Jesus because he doesn't, he's not a guaranteed starter. With Arsenal, he will most likely be a guaranteed starter. Oh my gosh. Why am I talking about Gabriel Jesus when we're about to concede? But oh my. Okay. Okay. I gotta stop talking about the current transfers and focus on the game, but it's fine. We haven't conceded yet, so it's fine. Neves, Neves, Edson, Edson. Ah, oh, nearly made it through. It's okay. Like in my opinion, I I prefer Frankie De Young to stay than to sign than to sell him and bring in Bernardo Silva. That's just me though. That's just my personal opinion as a Barcelona fan. It's not that I don't like Bernardo Silva. And I do. I would say Bernardo Silva is better than Frankie. But oh, Pedro Neto for Camavinga. But it's just, I personally want Frankie de Jong over Bernardo Silva. Even though I know Silva is better, but it's okay. If they lose Sterling and Gabriel Jesus, then it, they, they could go for another forward. Mostly another winger. Maybe Dembele. Oh, what a crossbar. Okay. Okay, I gotta stop talking. I'm just talking and talking and talking, but things are happening. Ronaldo. Oh, great interception by Meccano. But there it is. We have won 3-0 up against Man City. Let's go Wolves. Up the Wolves. Howl at the moon. I don't know what they're saying is, but let's go Wolves. We have one up against Man City. Three goals to zero. Neves, Ronaldo, and of course, Francisco Trincao were the goal scorers on this day. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna leave you guys off with the celebrations, but hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and late.